This is an audio recording of an old English poem for children up to five years of age. The poem titled Three Little Kittens has been voiced by Rishi Gupta for Rather Listen A11Y. Enjoy. Three little kittens lost their mittens and they began to cry. Oh, mammy dear, we sadly fear our mittens we have lost. What? Lost your mittens? You naughty kittens. Then you shall have no pie. Meow! 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 The three little kittens then sought their mittens upon the table high. Indoors and out they scampered about, for they were very spry. Now high, now low, the three in a row, and oh, how they made things fly. Meow, 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 meow. The three little kittens found their mittens and they began to cry. Oh, mammy dear, see here, see here, our mittens we have found. What? Found your mittens? You darling kittens, then you shall have some pie. <coughs> The three little kittens put on their mittens and soon ate up the pie. Oh, mammy dear, we sadly fear our mittens we have soiled. What? Soiled your mittens? You naughty kittens. Then they began to sigh. Meow, meow. The three little kittens washed their mittens and hung them up to dry. Oh, mammy dear, look here, look here, our mittens we have washed. What? Washed your mittens? You good little kittens, but I smell a rat close by. Hush, hush. Meow, meow. These kittens so gay were invited one day to feast by a running stream where they had as much meat as they wanted to eat and plenty of nice ice cream and each went to sleep curled up in a heap and had a most lovely dream. One night in the fall, they went to a ball and danced to a lively tune. With a leap and a bound and a merry-go-round and the sound of a big bassoon. And with the holes in their mittens, these careless kittens came home by the light of the moon. Meow! 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 These kittens, twas said, were soon to be wed. The cards had been out some days. And cat birds, no doubt, spread the news about as they flew over the great highways. And cats, one and all, the great and the small, were loud in the kittens' praise. Meow! 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 At 
last came the day, and in splendid array, the guests soon began to arrive. The aunts and the cousins, by sixes and dozens, all buzzing like bees in a hive. And among them Sir Rouser, a famous old mouser, and the handsomest Maltese alive. Then after the marriage, each groom called his carriage, and oh, they rode off in fine style. The brides beaming brightly and bowing politely to friends every once in a while, who kept up a squalling and great caterwauling that might have been heard for a mile. Meow, meow. The guests kept on dancing, now leaping and prancing. The band still continued to play. And Puss in the Corner and Little Jack Horner were games very much in their way. With singing and screeching and laughter far reaching, they had a good time, I dare say. Meow, meow, meow. The three pretty brides and their husbands, besides, took rooms in a very nice flat. Not a rat nor a mouse was ever seen in the house, nor anyone heard to cry scat. So they lived and looked pleased. They were petted, not teased. Now what do you think of that? <coughs>